Hello everyone, this is a World Exposure. It turns out that the new Black Panther Party is at it again. One of their members was spotted standing outside the same polling place where two members of the hate group was standing two years ago on election day shaking billy clubs and intimidating voters. Now this guy was wearing a pin that showed he was a member of this hate group. He was also wearing a leather coat, a black hat, and sunglasses. Now I'm sure you all remember that charges were brought up against these two Black Panther Party members back in 2008 and were dropped by Barack Obama and Eric Holder when they came into power. Now the Philadelphia election officials say there were no reports of voter intimidation so far at that polling location. And Fox 29 in Philadelphia is reporting that he was working as a volunteer there to greet voters. Now, now I don't know how much of that is accurate. Maybe that's what he told them. But I can't begin to imagine them allowing someone like that to be allowed to stand there and greet people. Now, we all know he does not need to be waving a billy club around in order to intimidate voters. All this guy needs is a new Black Panther Party pin in order to intimidate voters because we all know what they stand for. The leader of the new Black Panther Party of Philadelphia, the one that Eric Holder and Barack Obama is protecting, has even candidly advocated and demanded the killing of white people and their babies, shouting out how much he hates them. Barack Obama not only allows this kind of behavior to take place by the new Black Panther Party, hence why they are back intimidating voters again, because they are allowed to get away with it, but he also instigates it further by dividing race relations in America. Just last week when Obama was giving an interview with Univision Radio trying to persuade Hispanics to vote Democrat, he called Republicans the enemy, saying that they needed to be punished. You know, it's almost as if there can't be any Hispanic Republicans in the eyes of Obama. I don't understand why a Hispanic needs to vote Democrat just because they are Hispanic. It's as if Republicans are only made up of white people and the Tea Parties are only made up of white Republicans like the liberal media wants you to believe. Obama once again is rescinding his statement saying that maybe he should have used the word opponent instead of enemy. Of course, we all know this is typical of Obama and any other corrupt politician like him trying to change their word only when it gets too much backlash. And there's no doubt in my mind that in the eyes of Obama, Republicans are all a bunch of white teabagging enemies.